Welcome to the homestead. Today we are gonna make one of our favorite dishes, the Ozark Mountain Potato. And we call it that because it's really huge. So I decided today that we would make half of it for our dinner tonight and then take the other half to a potluck that we're going to tomorrow. I am making the stuffing for it. Um, I've done it in a lot of different ways. Today I'm going to do it with rice and but you could make a regular stuffing like you would stuff a turkey with. I like to put more meat in my dish so I'm using the ground venison that we did in the fall. Of course onion and garlic, lots of onion and garlic. And then I really feel like stuffing <laughs> you can't not have celery <laughs> so um, that's what my grandma did she always put celery in her stuffing but again like whatever stuffing that you like whatever recipe of stuffing that you like can be put in the squash for people who are doing a low-carb diet I used to do a low-carb diet for a long time so I know a lot of low-carb dishes but um, you could definitely make this a low carb dish if you just don't put in the rice. Um, you would just have your meat, you would have your veggies, and then that would be it. You could stuff your squash. And squash tends to be a low carb dish anyway. Now, if you have your counter next to the stove, you could just do this, leave it on the stove. But I like to bring it over here. I just feel like I make a mess when I go back and forth. So I'm gonna add all my veggies to my meat and then I'm gonna cook it until all my veggies are nice and soft. Okay, so I don't measure anything. Like I tell you this all the time. And I feel bad because some people say, well, how much did you put in? And okay, so this is how I do it. This is like, okay, I don't know. I may add more after I taste it. There's not that much garlic powder in there. Okay, I would definitely put more garlic powder in there, but I have to refill my jar. Onion powder. Okay, and then Italian seasoning. Not as much. I would say probably about half of the garlic powder. My general rule is, so like, I would say whatever you're cooking, I would say I always do two parts garlic powder, one part um, onion powder, and then half a part of Italian seasoning, and then, you know, like a pinch of pepper, or a couple pinches of pepper, depending on how much you like that. And then I'm gonna put in a couple bay leaves. And of course the bay leaves will come out before I do the stuffing. Okay, so now it's time to cut open the squash. This is actually a small one. Um, we'll show you a picture of the harvest that we got last year from the same seeds. Our squash didn't quite do as well this year, this, this, sum, this last summer. Um, I just feel like the garden, if you are know anything about gardening, if you're experienced at all and you've had several years of gardening under your belt, you know that the same things just don't do well year after year sometimes. It just depends a lot on the weather too. So anyway, um, but this one is a small one that we got from the garden this last summer. But these are so prolific. So 
I just cut it, I try to cut it in half. And of course, I'm really careful. Okay, so there we go. Like this one, this looks really beautiful inside. It's funny, I've seen squash, the longer you let it sit, like they will last for an entire year, just in regular storage in your house. But as time goes on, the flesh inside gets more dry. You can still eat it, it's just, it, it dries out over time. This one is still really super juicy can see the some of the juice is still dripping out of it when after I cut it open so of course we're gonna save the seeds from this we're gonna dry them and then we're gonna store them we have these seeds for sale on our website of all of these pumpkins that we cut open last year So I put some parchment paper down over my cookie sheet so that I can keep it clean and hopefully not as, as much mess to deal with when I'm done. But really, all of it shouldn't leak too much. And I'm really planning on cooking this in the oven only until it's kind of tender, not like falling apart tender, but just, you know, like, like, like you stick a fork in it and it gives some. Like you don't want it falling apart because what's happened, what's going to happen is that we're going to use the stuffing to stuff it and then we're going to go out and finish it on the grill so it gets a nice smoked flavor. That's how we really love it. We love it with that smoked flavor. But <clears throat> if you don't want to do it on the grill, you could definitely do this in stages in your oven. You could cook it first, like I said, until you know it's a little tender, stuff it, finish it back in the oven until your stuffing is nice and golden brown. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rub all over the inside with butter. Now you can see it's not a science and it gets kinda clumpy because <laughs> the squash is cold and but this will give it a nice flavor inside. The last thing I'm gonna do before I put it in the oven is just do some salt and pepper over it. I'm gonna use our smoked salt that we have for sale on our website. It'll just give it a little bit of smoky flavor inside. So all of my parts are done now. I'm gonna mix together the stuffing and I'm gonna pull out my bay leaves. I'm also gonna add some Parmesan cheese. I would say for this amount, maybe about like a quarter or a half a cup. All right, I'm ready to pull out the squash and I just fork tested it and to see if it was tender. So it's tender, it's not really mushy, like falling apart like you would want to eat it, but you know, it's it's still firm, but it's tender. So that's how you want it. So this is firm enough to hold the stuffing. So I'm gonna stuff it and then it's gonna go on the grill. That's it. 
They're all ready to go. Now Zach needs to go start the fire and he's gonna take over. This is my Weber and I've been using this for years. It's actually kind of bent in places. Tim even ran it over one time with his truck, <laughs> but it's still going. <laughs> um, so let me go ahead and get some coals in here and show you how we're gonna cook this squash. Now I'm not gonna use a lot of coals for this because what I'm going for more is smoke over heat. So we're gonna have some heat, but I want more smoke for flavoring. So I'm gonna let those coals burn down for a little bit and simmer. And then before I put the squash on, I have a piece of cherry wood that I'll put on the fire as well to help give it the extra uh, smoke flavor. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for about 20, 30 minutes or so, maybe thereabouts, and then pull it off. It'll be yummy, yummy, yummy tasting. I'm gonna keep this closed or barely open because again, I'm not, I don't wanna get this hot. I want it to be just warm, cooking warm in there, you know, good temperature, maybe a few hundred degrees tops. And then um, I don't want it to breathe too much. So I'm just gonna barely open that up. Okay, so it's been a good amount of time and we're gonna go ahead and remove this. Well, look at that, that is amazing. Just look at that, oh, it looks so good. It's bubbling, the butter is bubbling. Oh, it's just great. So what we're gonna do now, for the next few minutes, it's almost done. I'm gonna take this cheese mix, we have shredded here. I'm just gonna put that on top. Put cheese all on this. Cover it with a little bit of cheese. Just like that. And I'll take this, put it on this side. There, 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 there. The cheese is already melting. That's gonna be great. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this up for about another five, 10 minutes, five minutes probably, and then pull it off, bring it in the kitchen, we'll be done. So here it is and it's getting dark and we're getting really hungry. We really hope you enjoyed this video. This is our stuffed Ozark Mountain Potato and that's what's for dinner tonight. It's one of our favorite meals here. See you next time on The Homestead.